What's up, everybody? It's your favorite little angry robot's favorite nerd. And today we are looking at X Transbots Huff or Crank or. <coughs> I can't keep them straight. X Transbots Masterpiece Huffer. We're going to get into the word masterpiece and exactly what that means. But um, overall, I like this thing. I don't want anyone to be confused. Um, out of the box, the plastic feels good, rolls like a champ. Um, nice chrome. There's some problems that that causes. Uh, it's kind of lacking in the paint department. Uh, but, you know, it's not, it's not bad. I, I like it. I like it a lot, actually. And the more I mess with it, the more I like it. Do I have some complaints? Absolutely. Will I get into those? Absolutely. But overall, I like him. Let's do some size comparisons real quick. This is the, uh, iGear Huffer. Um, kind of goofy now, but, you know, in its day, this is a solid little unit. Um, mine's repoed up, so it's pretty cool. We'll get into that, I guess, later on, too. A lot of my G1 stuff, uh, is lost. I have some theories about where it went, but I don't know where it is right now. And I lost my Huffer, but I do still have stacks, and there he is. So, to give you an idea. Right? All right, and I guess this up there in a deluxe here is uh, Bumblebee, just because I'm tired of using Scoop. So I like the orange on this guy. Um, Bumblebee took a took a drop. Couldn't happen to a worse toy. Anyway, um, you know, there's some nice things about this man. Um, X Transbots has a pretty sketchy history. But there are some really nice things, and there are some really obnoxious things. Uh, this, these chrome little plug-in bits are one of them. It came with a bio card. There it is, a bio card, and then one, two, three, four chrome bits that you had to plug in. And the chrome bits suffer from the same problems that chrome bits suffers all the time, which is they mold the plastic for the plastic bit, and they add the chrome. That increases the diameter of the plastic, and then it has a harder time fitting into where it's supposed to go. So that is one of the complaints. Um, we'll talk more about the chrome and its effects on this toy, but <clears throat> like there's a, you know, there's some detailing down there, and you know it needs rep labels. Turbo written in cursive there on the, the front bit. There's some really nice. I, I like the, you know, I, I, suck, I like those lights. Um, there's some really nice detailing. There's the, the wrench, uh, you know, people were talking about, I'm not sure if that's showing up. Right there. Like somebody left it while they were working on the on the truck. There's a, some really nice details. This got, a, I think, a bad reputation um, out the box because I think a lot of people went with the Cubex or whatever, and then that had its own set of problems. I haven't messed with that, so I'm not going to pass judgment on it, but I, I chose to go this route for, for a number of different reasons, and, and we can get into that too, but... I went with them because they do have a bit of a history. It's not their first time out the gate, or Cubex kind of seemed like it was their first time out the gate. And I went with them also because their pictures looked more finished initially, whereas Cubex's pictures um, kind of looked a little rushed, and it just made me nervous. I understand why they did it, but it just made me a little nervous. And then I had some head sculpts, and it, you know, it was six of one, half a dozen of the other, I really feel like at the end. Me and T2Arc6 went back and forth on this, but... Um, you know, I, I made the decision I made, and, I, and I'm okay with my decision. I'm, I'm content. One thing I will say, like, right out of the gate, like, when you get them out of the box, the, the plastic does strike you as being better than you would have expected or I would have expected. Um, but, like, the cab plastic does feel different than the leg plastic, which feels a little bit more solid. Also, I would have liked it if something stabilized um, the torso here because when you're messing with it in truck mode, it has a tendency to kind of move about. Not crazy, you know, but it, has, you know, it gets you that, like it's got hydraulics or something, and, um, you know, it's just, I don't know. It needs some repper labels, you know, or some paint, like the tail, the, the, the tire flaps and stuff like that could use some paint, and door handle and stuff like that. And that's kind of, you know, what we, what I'm talking about when we need to really define the term masterpiece. Because that's what they use to promote this unit. And I'm not sure it's that. It's masterpiece scale. But I'm not sure it's a masterpiece. You know, Fans Toys Quake Wave is a masterpiece. This one is masterpiece scaled, But I'm not sure if I would feel comfortable. If I made this, I'm not sure if I would feel comfortable calling it a masterpiece. But let's talk about one of its greater 
qualities after we talk about one of its lesser qualities. The uh, the chrome weapons plug in here and here, and it has the same chrome problems where they judge the chrome uh, where it plugs in is right there and right there, and they measured those holes for um, the plastic and not for the plastic with the layer of chrome on them. So we're going to remove them, we're going to set them to the side. They, they, the accessories themselves are they're pretty well detailed. I mean, they're chrome, so there's no accents or anything on them, but there's a, there's a fair amount of line work. They're, they're identical, um, so it shouldn't make a difference which one goes where. One of the things that sold me on this early on was that you could connect Huffer to the trailer of MP10 like in the one episode where uh, Megatron kicked the snot out of Optimus and G1. And you can see it gets full articulation on it. So it's, it's really, you know, it's, I don't know, it scratches that nostalgic itch we always talk about. And that's a, that's a nice touch. And, you know, the only thing is that, like, you know, I mean, the, the real thing is all they had to do was put the two ports in there and they could do it. But, you know, they gave the clearance and everything. They... You know, I think they really took it into consideration. I get that. I get that. I get that. So let's get this thing transformed, shall we? And what I suggest, I'm, I'm, I've got a lot of things on my mind to talk about with this, so I'm trying not to forget any. But what I suggest is that un unpeg the, uh, the legs there. Slide them down. Stiff, tight joint. I like it. Fix the feet that are on ball joints at the ankles. Tilt these bits around. Now the clearance for this, it does get it has a point where it gives. Like, you know, it almost makes you feel a little nervous at first, but it doesn't seem to harm anything. Um, fix that, that foot there. These tires, which is kind of cool, I think, they're on a sliding slot. Um, so you can turn them around this way, and then this one's really tight, and then slide it forward. So turn it around. That one's a little bit smoother. Slide it forward, and that is the legs. Up here is where it gets a little bit more complicated and a little bit more touch and go. Okay, so tuck these bits around. There's a battery and then the fuel tank. And that fuel tank is so tight and it's on a smaller piece of plastic there and I just feel like it's going to snap. But it's not and I've done it a few times now and it, it's holding up fine. Um, this whole back piece slides out okay, and then lifts up like that. And then you pull the whole front down and then you can pull his arms out. Right. Once you get them to this point, you close these little caps here, which also is on a small piece of plastic and does make me a little nervous. Turn the head around. Now, mine, they come in the box in vehicle mode. My head was facing forwards, but then you see it in the truck mode. So, you know, if you can make a little change to hide it, why not do it? And then here, you simply push these in. And they will give at a certain point. And that's a really tight tolerance, and it, it's not a smooth one, I can tell you. Close that up. And give it the space it needs. And This one, there. That, that one actually has a little bit more to go, usually. And that's the second or third time I've had that issue. And then these two clips, these blue clips, hold on to the inside of the... Uh, the wheel well, I guess. And there you go. He's ready. Ready for action. Good God almighty, what is that hanging off your back, boy? That is a huge backpack. Now, it's kind of G1 accurate at the same time, so it's like it's saving grace, but great. Gugga mugga. The rest of it cleans up pretty nicely, though. Um, you saw how simple the transformation was, though, and it's super simple transformation. Doesn't give it that masterpiece vibe. That along with this huge backpack, the kind of lighter plastic up here. This stuff down here feels great. 
but the lighter stuff up here, the chrome not fitting together quite right, stuff like that, it just doesn't feel masterpiece. You know, it feels good. Like, I am happy with this guy. I can't wait to get him on my shelf. I can't wait to stop this video and get him on my shelf. Seriously, I love him. I, I'm, and the more I mess with him, the more I'm liking him. Does he feel like a masterpiece? No. Does this huge gap in there? See my opening? Does that gap feel like a masterpiece? Nah. That doesn't feel like a masterpiece. It feels like a, feels like a really good toy. You know, don't get me wrong. But not a masterpiece. Masterpiece carries a certain precedence, you know? Good unit. Should call it that. Good unit, Huff. Or good unit, Crank, or whatever its name is. Good unit, not Huffer. I hate that terminology, by the way. Not such and such. Yes, it is. It's definitely Huffer. You know, it's... I'm sorry, I just... I, can't, I gotta keep... I gotta keep discussing it. You know, the problem is that you say Masterpiece is gonna carry an expectation. It's like this. You want some breakfast? That sounds awesome. So, so this is breakfast, huh? What did you expect? I don't know. Usually breakfast has like a meat. And maybe an egg. You didn't even put any milk in it? Right? So obviously I had something different in mind. But I had a little bit something different in mind here too. Doesn't mean that I'm not happy with my purchase. Um, now mine's 70 bucks and I think that... Uh, I think that if you got this puppy for 50, you got a really good toy on your hands, a really good $50 toy. 70, I feel like, you know, all right, fair enough. Um, but whatever. Let's talk arti articulation. Head is on a ball joint, not a whole lot of down, but you get a lot of left and right and you get a lot of up, you know. Shoulders hinge here, so you get a little bit of a butterfly and you got a ball joint at the shoulder, so a lot of ball joints, you know, I'm not a big fan of that. Double jointed elbows for transformation, but still good. Bicep swivel, it's on that chrome though. Now, people have been complaining about their chrome chipping, and like I got a little bit up in there, you can see, um, but it doesn't seem to be getting any worse. Swivel for a wrist and hinged hand. Same on the other side. Waist, you got a swivel, but you can't get all the way around because of the battery and the uh, and the fuel tank. Uh, I guess you could maybe adjust them. And let me try. So you could adjust them like this, but then what? Do you, and then what are you going to do with it afterwards? You know, I, I don't know if it's that important. Um, hips are on a universal joint. That's not the tightest universal joint I've ever seen. Not terrible, not hateful, by any means, but not the tightest. And then it swivels at the thigh. Knee has a hinge, um, but that's all the articulation you get out of that, not even 90 degrees, which is kind of a disappointment. And then ankle tilts for the foot. Now, one of the bonuses with that huge backpack, um, it's not really the backpack's bonus, I'm not giving the backpack any credit, mind you, is that he comes with these huge heel spurs, so there's really no fear of him falling down. The weapons actually... The one part that they tab into nicely is the hand. Um, you know, and I'd rather tab in nicely to the hand. I'd rather tab in nicely to everything. I paid seventy dollars for it, um, but I'd rather tab in nicely to the hand than tab in nicely to the truck. So, yeah, there he is. So here he is with uh, Eye Gear Suffer. The color is more right on this Huffer, I feel like. This Huffer, uh, he was one of my first third-party toys, so I took a lot of pride in him. He's repoed up, and he stood on my Masterpiece shelf, and I know before you dorks start getting out of hand, he's not intended for the Masterpiece, he's intended for the classics. I get it, all right? He was just on my shelf as a placeholder, because I, I, I liked him a lot when I first got him, all right? Take it easy. But, you know, he, he won't be up there anymore. This guy will be taking his spot, because he has a pretty good figure you know, what G1 Huffer would have looked like, you know. But yeah, you know, he, he sizes up nicely. There, just for good measure. I use brawn. So, you know, the down and dirty of it is what I recommend him. I'd say 50 bucks, pick him up. Um, 60 bucks, you won't be disappointed. 70 bucks, you'll feel like you have mixed feelings. I don't know, I think even retails at 80. I got him for 70 because I got the him and uh, 
pipes together, stacks or whatever they're calling them. I got him together, and I'll be doing him next. It'll be smaller review because same thing over and over again. But uh, the joints are tight. Sculpt is good. Half the plastic is great. The other half is acceptable. The chrome looks great, but has chrome issues. It's in desperate need of repro labels. But even with that being said, there's some really nice accents. Like, I don't know if you can pick up that blue in his eyes, but it looks really good. And the metallic paint on his face looks great as well. So there are a lot of little bonuses. And then there are a lot of things you wish were done just to taste better. Overall, I'm happy with my purchase, but $50 might be the nice threshold for this unit. I think it's that backpack. I get it. What else are they going to do? But you know what I say. They put a man on the moon. They should be able to figure out a backpack. It's not a masterpiece, but it's a really nice toy. I will see you Friday with uh, pipes. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take care.